Hey Charles, today I want to tell you about a couple of exciting new developments that are happening in Cancun. It may or may not affect your travel if you're heading there for spring break, but if you're heading there this fall, <laughs> these could be total game changers for you. So first things first, the traffic in the Cancun Peninsula has been pretty horrific. I mean, it's obviously there's been problems as they've been developing the new Mayan train and building that line. They've also been working on ways to improve the traffic in and out of the Cancun Peninsula. And one of those developments is a brand new no toll bridge. This is the Nechapti Lagoon vehicular bridge. It's, it's going to be quite interesting. It's going to have a bike lane. It's also going to have three lanes and one of them in the center is going to switch and alternate directions depending on the traffic flows. So this may or may not have much of an impact to tourists. The most significant change is going to be for all the workers in the region. I mean, think about it. There's so many hotels and resorts in that area. So the tens of thousands of workers that go there every single day, instead of them all having to either go through the downtown Cancun route or go way back to the airport and head back up to the hotel zone. This is going to really streamline it. It's going to be following along the highway on the mainland side, cross the lagoon over to the Kukulkan Boulevard. It looks like it's going to join onto the peninsula somewhere just below Plaza La Isla. So we'll see how this goes. Certainly having all of those workers taking that alternate route is going to free up a lot of traffic coming from the Cancun airport. They're expecting this to open sometime around February, March, April of this year. I'll be there in April and uh, if it's open, stay tuned for a video showing you exactly what it looks like. So the other thing that sort of quietly happened, kind of like that Tulum airport that just popped up out of nowhere, is a brand new destination mall. It's called the Grand Outlet Mall, or they call it the Go Mall for short, and is located just south of the Cancun airport. It's actually been open since the end of August of last year, just like a resort opened up not necessarily everything was open but there's going to be a lot of stuff coming very soon and that includes some luxury shopping so we're going to see stuff like dolce and cabana or armani that level of luxury shopping but they've also got some more moderate brands so you'll see gas or calvin klein you know that kind of level of shops in this uh, shopping area so not only is it shopping but there's also tons of dining options so there's luxury dining from like steakhouses to sushi but there's also Carl's Jr. So if you just fancy a burger, you can get that. Here's the thing. This is a great way to take you out of the heat on a particularly hot day. Or if you happen to get there and that forecast of rain all week long actually happened to be true, then this is a great indoor activities area. So not only is there shopping and dining and drinking, but there's also lots of fun activities. There's a drag racing track where you can go head to head in the 90s. 1967 Chevy Camaro or a 1970 Dodge Charger. There's also mini golf, hot air balloon rides, go-karts, extreme trampolines. This is coming soon. They're going to be building an Olympic sized ice skating rink. So just imagine that you leave the cold weather in Canada, US, the UK, wherever, and you head down to sunny Cancun to go to an ice skating rink. It's vacation. You can do what you like. And of course, there's also going to be a casino, so you can perhaps even win your vacation bag. Wouldn't that be nice? And there's also three hotels that are right at the mall. So if you find yourself needing an overnight hotel very close to the airport, these are probably some great options for you. So some pretty exciting news. I'm excited to see what this looks like and uh, stay tuned for more info when I get there.